Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We got kind of two things. The kids learn how to slap the TV around there and we're kind of afraid of it, you know, well, falling on him and breaking him and it, whichever. Uh, so we're gonna mount on the wall with this wonderful Walmart special that we got here because they're in direct competition with Amazon. So same price, Amazon, same style. And we got this. The best stud finder on the market, in my opinion. It's a magnetic one there, no batteries required, and it works the best. Uh, because every single stud has fasteners that hold the sheetrock onto the studs. You can, that's how this works. It finds the screws or the nails and just follow along and you can find the stud that way. I've always had the, I guess it's some kind of sonar, I don't know, but any battery powered stu uh, stud finder has always given me false readings. So I've never liked them. But this, this is game changing. Now remember, I already shop non-union and made in China. <laughs> Saves the most money, guys. Here we go. I'm doing a uh, opening, an unboxing of a TV mount because I'm sure no one's ever seen this before. <laughs> I just cut the whole things off because I know I'm not gonna be returning it. This is the, the Walmart brand, hang on. Oh, wow, look at that, they gave me a template. That's oh, nice. wow, that's nice. Yeah, that's not that's not bad. That's a good mark. Oh, I can hang the tempo from there. I hear somebody, our number one fan is not happy with what we're doing. We better go check on them. All right. We're on the beautiful iPhone camera. All right, this is all alphabetical wise, pretty normal for any packaging that you take apart. I'll keep, okay. Metal. All four of them metal. Here we go. This is the part that mounts at the back of the television. Ooh. Mounting hardware. Because no television manufacturer can agree on how to mount it to the wall, so they have to give you all this junk. More junk. Trim pieces, trim pieces. Oh, this must be the, uh, the nuts and bolts for the operation. Yes! This is what holds it to the wall. Oh, they give you little sheetrock anchors. Oh, that's cute. I would not use those personally, but you know, that's a personal decision. And then the bolt that hold it to the TV. Little brackets under there. And here is the big honking metal thing. Oh boy, the big daddy of them all here. It has an arrow that points, you know, up. Install it that way. All right, at this point in time, I am going to take that off, because, you know, why not, and set this on the table, that's glass. guys I, I wanted to figure out how far not to use it so basically I'm just drawing lines I know not to go past the line so anything within here would be good and it probably tells me here as well yeah 16 inches yeah whatever but I'll be using this uh, template here if I wanted and this is actually really nice that they did provide that but I have a pretty good idea of where my studs are already so what I need now is a level and my impact, and I need to set it up to drive the lag bolts into the wall on these four spots. And I want to make sure that these four spots are where the studs are. Oh, voila, I just learned something, guys. Gravitas. There, that way we can get if it's wider or whatever. Perfecto. <clears throat> 
I'm sure this will definitely line up just fine. That is not oh, in the middle. Uh, it's a move it over here. Over here. Oh, over here. Huh? Okay. <laughs> Removing the nails from where we hang. We gotta relocate some uh, family portraits and pictures of ourselves here now. Not a, uh, not heartbreaking, but it's just a magnet, and we're looking for those nails and screws that I think I found one. <laughs> I just take my little pencil and just mark the top. I also mark the bottom because that's probably what's gonna be. Yep. Found another nail, or I think it's nails in this house because it's so old. Yeah. Could be a nail plate as well, or a nail that I picked up off the floor that was hanging a picture up. As of right now, I'm just using the stud finder to find where the studs are located. Should be 16. Oh. Normally, there's 16 centers each stud. And at this point, just figure out the stud. Yeah, I think that's definitely where one's at. Oh, I got a bunch of them right there for some reason. Yeah, that's definitely something there. Eh. Both are 16 inches. So yeah, works great. And then we'll be discussing with the, the other part of the Johnson TV is uh, how high we want this TV to be. We decided that we want the bottom of the television to be 48 inches from the ceiling down. That's what we, but we all decided that that's a good height. And that makes it where the baby boy can't, he can't get to it yet. <laughs> so we got some time, which is good. So that's what we're going for. So let me keep locating the studs a little lower. It's a little process, just gotta find them all. And I, at this rate, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure there's a stud. I got my pencil marks right down here. So there is a stud here. So let me confirm that. And I do pencil because it erases. And you can paint over it too. Um, that is just very grabby grabby there. I think that's a nail plate on the stud. What that is, folks, is um, when they run electrical wiring through a stud and it's real close to the surface, they put a big metal plate over it there to protect it from the sheet rockers so they don't drive a fastener into your cable that's in the wall that provides power. It's just so grabby. Just Okay, yeah, that's not grabby. That's just a defect in the wall. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, it's right on line with it. Cool. And, all right, so here, we got that one there. And there they are, 16 inches centered. So there are studs here. This just makes a lot more sense. Yeah, that feels like it. Yep, there are studs here, which is what we want. All right, I'm gonna be fastening this to the, to the stud here with this lag bolt that was provided here with my Milwaukee Impact that's with a half inch bit. Yep. Here's the next important thing there, you guys gotta have a level, otherwise you're gonna be mad every time you watch TV. Are we recording? Oh, okay. I wasn't certain, like, am I, am I going just without the thing and we lose all the stuff? All right, so I got the level across the top here, and it's right how you would want that to be. Let's see, let's find my marks. Ah, 
going all the way out to this one here. I'm just making sure it stays level. And again, use an impact driver with a half inch socket. It works great. Don't try to use a screw, a Phillips screwdriver. You will never do this. Here we go. Now get the other two legs in there so that it's nice and solid. I think I hit the side of the stud. That went way too easy, but. The other thing I could have done is split the stud inside the wall, but you know, that's a possibility. And I'm going to check level again. It's level. Living room here, we want it to be able to pull out from the wall. We can go this way or that way with it. And I can't do it right now because the TV's not on there. And I probably got to loosen something up. But we can tilt it down and that's why I wanted this mount I have another older mount but just flat against the wall which isn't bad in some situations but this one here we want to be able to move it all right I had to find the right screw to get the bracket on the back of the television to work I'm going to check it with the level and make sure that they are on level When we get this all done, our next trick in the future will be make it a clean install look there. A lot of work. <laughs> Especially when we want a sound system with 7.2 surround. A lot of work. I haven't gotten around to wanting to do that one yet. So I'll tolerate looking at the wires for a while there, guys. But uh, we'll let you know it'll be a lot of work. All right, here's here my level. All right, not level. I'm sure there's some little room here. Oh yeah, there's lots of little room there. And that one's not low either. I gotta loosen up the bottom one too and get it all adjusted. There we are. I won't know the level unless you had a level. So the brackets are level and the mount's level. So moving on to the next phase. Right now I gotta kinda get the bars and Build stuff on this and hook this up here. It's all in the directions. A little bit more to it there. We got little clampy bits here to secure it in place. All that's coming soon. All right, folks. I'm using the provided Allen key. And I'm getting these little metal pieces on. They were labeled with the packaging. Uh, B one on the left-hand side and the other one goes on the right-hand side. And I had to find the corresponding screw that fits on it. And well, just get these all kind of snug down. 
This is kind of a crazy Allen key. It has a Phillips on the back end. I might keep that. Or just throw it away. No. It's a Harbor Freight special tool. Or it's actually, I guess, lower quality than Harbor Freight because it comes with the kit and you use it one time and throw it away. All right, the problem was there is a proper side to go into it there. I figured they'd just use the same screw on both sides. Now this one's very distinct on how it goes in. Probably because it interlocks with the back one. Exactly. <laughs> the other Allen key is going in the garbage because it has a Phillips end on it there, which I do not like. There we go. I can't get my fat fingers into the area with the ridge. It also helps have them the right way as well. All right, and you flip the other way for the iron wrench to get it torqued on there. Give them about a quarter turn. It should be fine, plenty tight. There you are. Oh, yeah, looking more and more like an alien head, huh? All right, next phase. Alright, I'm sure we're getting to the point where something detaches and attaches the back and then two people have to lift it and put it back up there. Alright, we're going to need two people here soon to pick up the TV, hook it on here, and secure it. So you gotta get a good spot for that camera here, Paul. Alright, I just removed the screw that held the base onto the TV. Now me and my Paul over here is going to pick it up. I can't have the four. No, no, no. I should just be those four. Here, pick it up. There. <laughs> okay, pose. We're gonna to need to lift it up kind of high. Here, get get on here. Just set it back down like how you had it. Okay. Okay, that's a little flappy bit goes over there and that's all what holds it onto the TV guys. So I get the screw, line it up, and get that kind of on there. You got a little room to adjust it here and slide it around. Oh, I'm already trying to do something with it here. That's kind of silly. Okay, how's that look? Yeah. Oh, that's about where you wanted it. Here, guys. Let's see how. Let's see how the installer did. I haven't tightened the screws up back there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I know. There we are. We got it mounted. I went through all that time before making it level, and it went up there crooked as all hell. And then we had to do that for, it's as low as it's gonna be. Pan the butt. But it's up here, we can move the TV here when I'm watching TV by myself at night. I can get out a little further. Oh, wow. It's a moving TV. Yeah. <laughs> we can move it over here. Oh yeah, 
That's even better than it was beforehand. Look at that. You can watch TV in the kitchen now, can't you? <laughs> Let's go ahead and take a look. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, you can watch TV in the kitchen. One TV. Someone put fingerprints on it. <laughs> well, um, other than that, we're going to just plug in the HDMI cables and the power, and I want to watch some TV before I go to bed. No more little fingerprints on the TV when I'm watching TV anymore, or it gets slapped around from our number one fan. Wants your attention. All right, well, uh, let's see here. The boss lady says, give out some tips. Definitely need help for this one here. You can't hold the TV up there and tighten it down by yourself. You can't do it. So get uh, a friend if you have them. I, I don't have a wife. It works out great. Um, so we got this going. And an impact driver to get those light bulbs in the studs, unless you're planning on mounting it. If you have a concrete slab, that's a little different. You're gonna need a different tool for that there. But most people are, um, you know, standard construction with um, sheetrock and two by four, two by six studs on a 16 inch center. Yeah, the mountain will also work on the 24 inch center, no problem. It's wide enough. Oh man, I should've got another rag. No fingerprints on my TV. I hate fingerprints on my TV. Or I don't like watching stuff on a little screen. Oh, it's always kididdy. I'm a doomy kididdy. Um, other things too, a proper level. Uh, the one they give you, I guess would do in a pinch, but the longer you level, the more accurate it is. This is a better level. Probably this is about, about as big as you want to do for this. I mean, a smaller torpedo load would be uh, probably best. But that's what I found in the garage this time of night. So that's what I was using. And yeah, uh, the iron that came with it would work, but eh, whatever. And the, um, well, the biggest problem the head there. I didn't think it mattered on those metal tubes going into the mounting bracket on the mount. It does. I figured they just use one screw, but they, they don't do things that way. So make sure that that's the right orientation with the proper screw for the slot and you'll be fine. Oh, wow. I'm just happy, folks. I haven't been fingerprint free here in uh, about a month and a half. My son don't make him push the TV and slap it around. This will show him in the morning. He won't know what's coming. <laughs> He'd be like, where's the TV? <laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> uh, kids are interesting. And remember, all the horrible things he does now is exactly what you did when you were that into your parents. So you keep that in mind. Anyways, thanks for watching. Leave uh, questions, comments on the bottom. Like and subscribe, please. And thanks for watching.